What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Tesla video. As you guys saw in the title, today is time to wrap my dash. So I've had the wooden dash uh, since the day I received my car and I actually bought the dash wrap a while ago. This is from the Test Bros uh, kit. So I uh, highly recommend them. Uh, awesome company from all the other uh, different wraps I've purchased over the years, uh, over the year. Um, so, uh, today, dash wrap, we're going to do the installation. I have Mother Mother Frunker, or Mother Squared Frunker, here to help me. We're going to do the install, uh, take you guys around the journey of installing it, and uh, the ups and downs, uh, hopefully all ups, uh, and uh, we'll go from there. The end piece. Yep. And we're going to get the one that's rounded. We'll go on this side, which is the driver's side. So, obviously, we peel it off. Uh, put it down. Now, according to the directions, you line it up here. Does it look lined up to you from your end? Yeah, it looks good. Okay, and then we're going to use this handy tool. Move it down, tuck it in at the end, make sure it's tucked in, all the edges are done. Ta-da! Pretty easy. Okay, so we're going to remove this piece on the end, on the right side. Yeah. And this is just to have it hold down. All right, so uh, something we discovered. The video is saying to uh, do behind the screen, um, but truthfully, behind the screen is completely flat anyway. So we are going off video a little bit and we wanna see, uh, it should still technically work out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the notch of the steering wheel instead, because I think that's a little bit easier. Because as long as the steering wheel notch matches up, the rest should align properly. So we're going to unpeel this and align the steering wheel portion. And then the rest, where we uh, temporarily taped down, we're going to do the edges and we'll follow the rest of the video then. But I just think your initial alignment is easier uh, if you go this route. So align the bottom, push on the bottom only, uh, and eventually you do the top afterwards. So... Uh, the approach I'm taking with this, I know it's off video, so if you're following the official instructions, which might be a little bit better, uh, but uh, for the sake of my install, I'm going off instructions. I'm going to treat this as if I did the uh, the Chrome Delete, uh, which is from Tesla Bros as well, or Tess Bros, and uh, you go bottom up, bottom up. So uh, we had that portion down there. Uh, we did the bottom piece. And now we're kind of just taking off the uh, backing of the 3M all the way across. And we're just kind of aligning uh, the bottom like so. And we're going to tape it down and just do the bottoms all the way across the bottom. And then we'll uh, push the wrap up along the top. So again, off video, but I think this is probably the easiest way. All right, so the right side, we put on the bottom. Uh, and then once you put it on the bottom, you have it all aligned. You push the bottom all the way across. And then from there, you work your way from the bottom upwards. And as you can see, we have a nice, smooth piece that goes all the way across. Uh, we are still working on this side. Uh, there are still some bubbles and stuff that we have to push through, uh, but we are working on it. So uh, the end result is gonna look something like this, uh, minus the tuck-in at the top, which we still have to get to. So uh, let me work on this side and I'll be back. Uh, the more you do it with your fingers, it, can rid it gets rid of the crease too. Yeah, so the, the last step is to take the top that was overhanging and you kind of tuck it in. The heat gun uh, for the edges, which is going to smooth uh, the top part to the edge part. So if you don't have a heat gun, you can use a hair dryer, but make sure you're careful because of temperatures, whereas the heat gun is like exact temperature. But anyway, you're basically going to heat gun the corner it's going to smooth over and you're going to get a nice uh, rounded edge. This is the final install. This is how it looks like uh, from our top view going across. And it's very smooth. Looks very professionally done. Very easy to put on. And simple, simple to put on. Yeah. I uh, think what I liked the best was that if you m messed up sticking it down, you could unstick it and it just went on. And Yeah, so if you don't like the wood dash, uh, and you don't want to pay a professional, honestly, this is uh, one of the easiest products you can put on. And for me, because I do have the center console uh, wrap, it looks really nice uh, together. So uh, 
highly recommended product. I will have a link in the description below if you want to help the channel. You get a little bit of a discount and you also help the channel out. And uh, so yeah, if you guys are interested, link in the description. I like it. Um, I'm happy that uh, I enjoyed the I enjoyed the wooden dash. Like I enjoyed the wooden look, but it's nice to have something new finally. So uh, plus it goes lovely with your red car. Yeah. So if you guys enjoy it and you guys want to get it done to your car, link in the description. They have it for. I believe the Y, the 3, uh, the S and the X, or the S and the X, but they have other uh, Chrome Delete products and vinyl wrap products and all sorts of stuff. Uh, great guy. G's an awesome guy. Link in the description. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Leave a like. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know if you guys have a dash wrap on your 3 or your Y, if you got rid of the wood or if you like the wood. And uh, do subscribe for the latest and greatest Tesla content. Most importantly, thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time.